Hey, I'm Tommy Awesome, and I'm back with uh, Pokemon Twice Baked. <laughs> I don't know why I was about to say Fire Red. Um, Twice Baked Red, and uh, it's been a, it's been a bit since I've recorded actually. So let me just um, let me refresh myself with the team because we got very oh man oh this is a depressing looking team. Um, oh right, right. I didn't grind in between episodes because uh, there was I still needed to like do a bunch of stuff because we we entered this town and I didn't really do much so we should go we got the tea from the lady <clears throat> and then we can go this way and we can oh goodness okay there we go we can go over here and yes that tea is awfully tasty glug glug gulp all right go to saffron perfect so now we can go to saffron city we can get oh well, we can get the tm for psychic because that's just in this town for some reason i love how it's just a year i think it's so silly but psychic is really good um and then oh, we could even do the fighting dojo if i had literally any confidence in our team I'm pretty sure I made the fighting dojo strong too, though. So like, even though you can technically fight it now, I made it a little stronger than that. And it's not like there's a guy in front that like tells you what level the trainers are in there, so whoops. Uh, but we don't have cut. Okay, well, there are trainers on that route that we could fight. What else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh, we could get, um, those tutor guys to teach us moves that's an option um i don't know i kind of just wanted to open up this area because i didn't want to open up this area off camera did i get the bike wait did i get the bike i don't think i got the bike i didn't get the bike oh my god <laughs> okay well now we got the bike so we can actually go on cycling road even though the trainers there will murder us because they're supposed to be fought after erica um, that's how I level scaled them, but yeah, so we, the, the only trainers that we have left to fight now, I guess, I guess we could fight the ones by Celadon, or not Celadon, sorry, Lavender Town, but I don't, the, these ones would obviously be weaker, we don't have Cut, what, what on our team can learn Cut, do we have like, nope, really? Still, that's the only thing. Okay, sorry. I'm making a whole lot of no progress this episode. But I, I really just was about to grind and then was like, oh, wait. But if I'm going to grind these low-level guys, I should go to the low-level area. Oh, but I can't get there because I didn't grab the tea yet. Oh, well, I can't just grab the tea off camera. That's not, that's not allowed. That's weird. <laughs> um, there is a daycare here. I guess I didn't really check that grass, but there's no item. Um... Encounters, encounters, encounters. We really don't have any encounters to get anymore, I don't think. I'm going to go this way because there are trainers here to fight. Um, and Chunky needs to evolve. So I think I'm going to focus on Chunky right now. I don't know how strong you are, but let's try it. <clears throat> My bike's acting up, man. He's upset. Biker Ricardo. Okay, alright, not good. <laughs> no, I can't I can't possibly be on this one. No. I can't be on this route. That's not okay. Okay. We're faster than the gold bat. That's not enough. Okay, it went for confuse ray. But targeted chunky. Alright, chunky, you got this. Okay, good, good. I was worried that they were both going to target Chunky. Oh, I forgot Tail! Freaking Poison Tail hits both! I didn't change the animation from hitting one to hitting both. Okay, Seismic Toss did good, and Body Slam should finish it. And... <clears throat> Sorry. Let's Seismic Toss the Survivor next. Okay, good. Golbat's gone. I was worried about a flying move hitting Chunky, but we're good. Chunky leveled up. Okay, Chunky will evolve. And, oh god, no, another Pokemon. Okay, it's Grimer, it's fine. <coughs> Crunch. 
Okay, I think I cleared my throat enough. I think we're good now. <laughs> God. Oof, that's rough. Okay. Chunky leveled up, honestly, so let's get out of here. A crunch would be bad, but egg, I, I believe in you. No, yeah, after this episode, we're grinding because egg is going to take a while to level up and I need egg to be on par with the team again. And, um, what else? The, oh my god, they're ganging up on, good thing I switched out. <clears throat> god, I thought my throat was clear. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna body slam this Grimer, and let's counter the survivor. I'm anticipating another Poison Tail, unless it goes for Crunch. Oof. Oh god, that was worrisome. Encounter doesn't work because Crunch is special in this game. Alright, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, good. Whoa! That was an accident. I almost just attacked Egg with the body slam. Okay. Let's... These aren't good enough potions. That is not a good enough potion. Oh man, it went for glare. Oh my god. Paralyzed. The only way to paralyze my ground type. Okay. Let's... Body slam and use the paralyzed heal. I can't afford to not hit a body slam this turn. <laughs> because Egg's life might be at stake. Yeah, we're good. Alright. Barker Ricardo. Alright. And Chunky's evolving. Um, but yeah, no. So, since Machoke normally evolves by trade, I took all the Pokemon that evolve normally by just a generic trade. Such as Machoke, Haunter, um, Kadabra, and Go Graveler. <laughs> and uh, they all evolve at level 37. So that is, uh, that is, that is the thing. That is going to be a bit, but that is the, the repercussions of those actions. Um, let's see. Okay, we're going to go heal up a bit. And, you know, to make to make sure that this... Oh, man. Because we can't battle the trainers on that route, but we can't really get onto the other route because we don't, don't have cut. Um, Pidgeotto can't learn cut. Why can't Pidgeotto learn cut? That's so weird. Oh, gosh. And... What else? Hmm... I don't know. Let's see. The the trainers over here are going to be more our level at least. So I think that's the goal is to fight them. Um, we'll heal up. Oh, did we just heal up? Oh my god. So sorry. I meant to come in here to get a cut Pokemon out of the box. What in here learns cut? Fine. We we literally have to bring uh, into the team uh, Taco because Taco is the only one who can learn cut, which is crazy. You'd think Eevee could learn cut. They're both like cat dogs. Like, come on. I really didn't want to have to use the dead thing, but I, I checked for everybody. For everybody's sake, I checked. Hey, hey, hey! Everybody was probably very excited for that part—the the, the checking who could learn cut portion of the video. <laughs> okay, so now that we are on this route, I think I do. I do want to level up Chunky more, so I'll run around in the grass a bit up here because there's encounters. <clears throat> Vigoroth, that's got to be some good experience. What the grass? really is uh high level encore oh my god and if i'm already going second then maybe i want to use revenge but i actually it doesn't matter anymore fury swipes all right bud calm down three times fine okay 
Yeah, Vigoroth should be should some good experience. It's close to our level, and yeah, it's a that's solid experience, especially from a grinder standpoint. Um, we have a bug catcher up here to fight. Cubones on this round. <clears throat> okay. Grab a jump. Ooh, headbutt. We're fine. Nice. Good job, Chunky. Oh, whoa, hey, whoa. Okay, we're fine. Bumerang only hits twice. Yeesh, though. I didn't expect the Karate Chup to not finish the job. How dare you, Chunky. Okay. Um. Let's. Let's heal up. I am. I'm worried about what Pokemon these trainers could have. Honestly, a bug catcher seems like the job for Evil Gnome and Ranodin duo, so. <clears throat> Let's do that. I'm so disappointed that we lost, like, our entire team. They were at least on par with the levels for this area, and now our team is not on par with the levels for this area. Oh, God. Pineco, do not self-destruct. I do not want... Hey, we intimidated you. Your attack will fall. You're going to be weaker with your self-destruct if you actually do it this time. Okay, let's Ember the... and Body Slam it. Just, just gang up on the Pineco. Finish his life. Oh, he's still there. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, we're, we don't have to worry about self-destructing anymore. Okay. Leech life. Yep. 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 Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Nice. Good job. Alright. Ember and Bison. Yep. Good job, Bugcatcher. You really were a trainer that was in the way. Now you're not. You're dead. Haha. -ha. Yeah, having a fire type is nice. I love that we caught two of them. That's so silly. Because we could have could have afforded to catch anything else. Um, oh wait, and if we go this way, oh, if we would have gone to Lavender Town, I guess there would have been the route below we could go on and battle trainers, but I think that route is probably the same levels as the route that we're going to be on anyway. Okay, and Chunky, I want you to be in front because I don't know what's going on for this youngster guy. Or I guess he's a camper, isn't he? But I don't know what's going on for him, so... Probably normal types, because that's what's on this route. Okay, well... <laughs> Spoink and Chameleon. Those are not normal types. Okay, let's... Let's revenge the Chameleon and... Slam the Spoink. Spoink is very frail, so this is an easy slam. Oh, that means Spoink is on this route, right? Interesting. There we go, 34. Even Rhino didn't get in the levels. Scary face, oh no, Rhino didn't super slow now. Well, what was the point of revenge then? Okay. Let's just finish it off. It's a goner. Wow, we're really slow now. <laughs> Charmeleon's like, yeah, now you're even slower even though I'm still faster. Didn't even want to bother using, like, Dragon Rage or something else in its moveset. Level 30, yay! Level 30, Chunky! Alright. What else is in this route? Um, there's some, there's a few trainers we actually didn't fight on this route, so... They could be good. Yep, I, I remember we didn't fight this guy. And I think maybe there's a hiker or two that we didn't fight down below. <clears throat> oh yeah, these should be good levels. They're fully evolved Pokemon. Oh, Intimidate, oh no. That's a bummer. Okay, well, someone's bound to hit you this turn, so we'll just revenge. And the Hyper Fang is the dangerous thing. So I'll attack the Raticate, even though the Raticate is probably going to be dead. Oh my god, it didn't die. Okay, well, Scary Face isn't as scary as Hyper Fang would have been, which is fine. And Elder Sleuth. I love that they're only using status moves, because if they used actual damaging moves, we would be, like, having to heal every two seconds. And technically, there is a Pokemon Center nearby without having to cut that tree. Um, okay, well... I'll just use... I'll just start using Karate Chomp. I don't know what the Sand Slash is gonna do to us, so let's just gang up on the Mighty Enter. <clears throat> get him out of here. I don't know what he has either, but... <laughs> Just get, just, just stop. Everybody, everybody leave. We don't want to deal with you. Uh, what is the other Pokemon this guy could have? A fourth Pokemon. That's like 
fitting for this area. Hmm. Linoon. Okay. Okay, another thing weak to fighting. We'll just gang up on it because we can get rid of it faster than the Sand Slash. Especially since the Sand Slash already used a defense curl. Mud Sport. I, they're only using status moves. That's so goofy. Um, oh, there we go. Alright, there's a damage move. And now we can't switch out. Oh, god forbid. <laughs> okay, finish off the line. A critical hit. Oh my god. Too bad Chunky was just for aftermath damage. Alright. And now we'll just gang up on the Sand Slash. Let's, no, not, no, let's revenge the thing because he might attack us. And honestly, Body Slam might do more damage. Pretty sure Body Slam does more damage than Brick Break. Oh, we got the Poison Point. That's good because that Body Slam did like nothing. <laughs> revenge did more than Body Slam. Okay, he's poisoned. Let's just Revenge again. Hey, better yet, I bet Seismic Toss might do more, since we're level 30, and, uh, it, it's, yeah, it's spamming Defense Curl, so, this just does 30 base damage. Yeah, perfect, awesome. Kepper Drew, uh, yeah, I think I did buff Sand Slash and made its defense higher, too, because Sand Slash was kind of lame before. Here, I want to skip those trainers, and we'll visit this Pokemon Center over here. Technically, there's water over here, but not a new encounter because we already got an encounter here, and it was disappointing, to say the least. Ugh, but it's fine, because now we can battle all these trainers. Wait, there's a trainer down here we didn't fight, actually, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. No, you always lose. Guess what? You will again. Do, 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 do. Two normal types? Perfect. <laughs> Alright, honestly, these, these guys are probably chumps, so we'll just take them out. Follow me! Oh my god, get this Clefairy out of here. Finish it in one hit. Yeah. Chump. Alright, now credit up Jigglypuff. Awesome! I didn't expect it to go one hit, but Chunky did it. Awesome. Alright, well that was worthwhile. Okay, now let's mosey on over. Back to this route. Yeah, I took out I took out the the cliffs here because there was no reason for them. They just block off this hiker, I guess. But this way it's easier to fight the hiker, and who cares if it's easier to fight this hiker? Just battle the hiker now. Yeah. This is the Chunky and Ranodin episode. <laughs> Aeron and Lavatar. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is the this is the Chunky and Ranodin episode. Um, we'll do this and this. I think that's the better idea. Because Brick Break is the higher damage move compared to Karate Chop. But fighting is four times as effective against Aeron. So, yeah, easy one-shots. I'm not saying neither of them would have been one shot, like I'm pretty sure they were both going to be one shots anyway because wow, just a bunch of first forms on this team, but just in case for the best possible outcome, I think that was it. Uh, we battled him, didn't we? Okay, so we're actually done with this route, oh, geez, and I don't even want to enter that rock tunnel again, that was a dastardly situation, Vigoroth, okay, well, Chunky, take it out. So, since we already finished this route, and I guess the only real option now is to go... Endure? Is to go down to Lavender Town and mess around, I guess. Um, I guess we could technically fight our rival. Hmm. I, I don't remember what level his team is. We are definitely not ready to fight our rival, though. That's the thing. We lost our entire team right before our rival fight in the tower. Come on. Okay. I'm I'm running in the grass just because I know that we could get shinies, and as well as the fact that we do like want experience, you know. So it's 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 a win-win. If we don't find a shiny, we get experience, and if we find a shiny, we find another Pokemon to add to the team. 
because our team needs help. And a lot of stuff on this route can learn cut, so I'd be able to take Taco off the team. It's not like we have experience share that like shares it for the whole team or anything, but you know, still still could be nice. Here, let me just let me just do, just do a little bit more, just a little bit. I've never gotten a shiny on camera that hasn't been by a trainer. Like a trainer has always had the shinies that I'm getting on camera. It's so sad. Yeah, you missed your bone, Meringue. Yeah, we got the crits. Chunky, you're finishing these Q bones with the one-two punch. Well, I love how the only things we've encountered on this route are Vigoroth and Cubone. Now we finally find Metatite. It's level 24, my god. Okay, um... Seismic Toss, I guess, because fighting type moves are resisted. Yeah, 31 base damage is fine. What type is your hidden power? Terrible, okay, we're fine. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a Metatite on the team at this point. Like, fighting types are good. Uh, and uh, Meditate has pu has a chance for pure power, so that's always that's always uh, well received. That's always a nice thing to have. Um, another thing, since since I'm doing this game and I should talk about it, <clears throat> there is stuff going on on the route next to Lavender Town. Um, the route that we were on, the reason why I didn't want to fight that one trainer was because he has a special quality about him that he's rematchable as well as the fact that he is an EV trainer. Uh, basically what that means is I, ba I made a, like, a new trainer class that was EV trainer and those are all like trainers that are rebattleable on this route over here because uh, there just happened to be enough of them. Uh, any trainer on this route that says EV trainer in their trainer class that means that they, um, battling them over and over again, will get you uh, EVs, like the most IVs for that like thing that they're referencing. Um, and you can tell what EVs they give based on what Pokemon they have, as well as the like hint in their name. Each of them has some sort of reference I tried to make uh, in order to, uh, like. Um, explain like in uh what, what's the word what's the word i guess reference <laughs> um each of them has a reference in their name in order to give you the idea of oh this one helps me uh with uh attack evs because their character's name is jaeger because jaeger is the name of aaron jaeger in attack on titan the anime what a fun reference I put in here. Could I have done other things for attack? Of course I could have, but I, you know, figured that would be kind of funny to do fun little references like that. Um, this Knocked Owl, th there's no reason for me to be fighting this Knocked Owl. It's a wild Knocked Owl. It's level 29 though, so it is kind of like, it's on par with our current uh, team going on. Ugh, another Knocked Owl? Gotta run from this one, I swear. Okay. I was hoping we could find other things on this route that would be easier for Chunky to damage, but that is not the case. Vulpix. Yeah, we don't really need another fire type though, so fine by me. Oh, but Drought would have been great. <laughs> oh, dang it. Alright, I forgot Vulpix I made better than Growlithe because it has Drought. Because I know Ninetales normally has Drought in the newer games, right? Either that or it's a hidden ability. I don't know, I just know that they had to bo boost Ninetales in some way because of Arcanine's uh, base stat totals being great. So, anyways, this guy is the attack EV person. Oh god, I battled him! This guy is the defense EV person! Let's see their reference, oh my god. EV trainer Byron, yes. Um, in the Pokemon anime, Byron, the gym leader from Sinnoh, constantly talks about how he loves defense so taking on this trainer over and over again will net you some pretty good defense EVs um, I didn't really need defense EVs on these two that's why I'm bummed but it's fine oh got the karate chop crit yeah chunky you must have like sniper or something you're getting more crits Randodon's getting pretty good levels you're gonna need a lot of levels if you're gonna carry the team like this 
Weezing. Yeah, Weezing also knits a lot of good defense EVs. Um, I wouldn't put self-destruct on an EV training Weezing, would I? I might. I'm, I think I would, actually. This isn't gonna go well, is it? I really, I really hope it does, though. Okay, we're fine. We're just poisoned. It'll be fine. This Sudowoodo can't do much to us, I don't think. Not if he's dead. <laughs> Alright, Chunky 32. Yeah, Chunky could evolve soon. Like, at level 37, Chunky evolves, so... It would be good. Um, let's Seismic Toss that. And it has level t Levitate, so I have to Body Slam. I don't know what else this Weezing could have. But if it does explode, that would be bad for Chunky, so... Uh, if it does explode, I'd want to be at full health. Uh, the poison is not good either, but if it does explode, I'd want to be at full health. Critical hit? That's great. Paralyzed. Hey, stay paralyzed. Sludge. Okay, we're fine. I just got a little worried. <clears> okay. <throat> Oh, we don't need to go into the bag anymore. I mean, I'm not at full health, but it's fine. Because it's paralyzed, so... It's going last. And it's dead. Perfect. Alright. So, we got some defense EVs, I guess. But yeah, so if you are EV training any of your Pokemon, you can battle the trainer, and then break out that Versus Seeker, run around for a bit, and EV train on those guys. Uh, and I think I might just do that because we do have a brand new team coming in uh, And that wouldn't be terrible to do Oh god, I'm I'm so weird with how deciding how long these episodes should be But we, we've we've made some pretty good progress levels wise on the team taco I don't think we need cut anymore actually, so I think I can safely put taco away We might need to grab it if we're gonna go fight Erica, but we probably won't fight Erica for a while to be honest and I think now is a good time to grind. I think that I'm going to just grind everything. Everything in existence. Uh, everything that we have. Everything in the box. Just, I'm going to grind everything in the box up to when it's about to evolve. Except for Letty Bud, because Letty Bud's about to evolve anyway. But, whatever. Well, we're going to grind everything. Everything is getting grinded. And I'm thinking the level will be like 35... I think that's a good level to keep the team at, including you, Egg. You need to be on par with the team if you're going to be a long-living member of the team. These are the two. These are the two longest livings. Who would have thunk that Egg would still be here after all this time? Oh, but that is it for this episode. Tune in next time. This has been Tommy Awesome playing Twice Baked Red. Uh, hasta la pizza.